Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Davis. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add a product in your WooCommerce a website that is powered by WordPress. Now you, you are going to learn how to add this heading, the pricing here, the short description here, and then uh, you are going to know how to add this gallery here, and then you are going to know how to add your description. Now, this one is going to look different on your website depending on the theme that you have. For now, I haven't installed any theme. So, by default, this is just the WordPress um, plugin itself without any other theme. So, yours should be looking better than this. This is what you're looking for. You can now watch the full video. So, first, before adding your product on your website, Make sure that you have prepared these details, the product name, the product price, the product short description, and the product long description. Prepare this in advance and also download all the images that you will need for this particular product in advance. So that when you start now filling this, will be, it will be a little bit easier. So I presume that you have WooCommerce pre-installed. That is the plugin that helps you to add a, a product that can be sold on your website now i presume we already have done that so we are going to go to products down here then you are going to add a new product so i'm going to open this in a new tab and now you can see we have a, our product name here we have our product description this is usually the long description and when i, when I scroll down have a product uh, short description here so we are going to paste our short dis description here so we are going to do that our product name is so i'm just going to be copying and pasting this information so copy and paste then product uh, long description and then i'm going now to paste my product short description here Now, after pasting the product short description, just on top, we'll be able to see the product data here. So the product data is now uh, what what is the price, maybe the attributes, the things like that. So you have to choose the type of product first you have. So for mine, it's a simple product because it's a phone that I want to sell online. So we have other different types of products like a grouped product an external or a philip product and a variable product so we also have downloadable product so if you are selling virtual products you can make sure that you tick this one and make sure you tick it as download uh, downloadable if you want people if you want to give an access to a file after purchase this one is normally uh, for things like maybe if you are selling a course, something like that. So for pricing, we are going to see that the pricing here is in Kenyan shillings. So later on, I'm going to show you how to change the Kenyan shillings here into maybe the currency that you want, maybe US dollar or euro or any other currency. So for now, the pricing according to my data is $1,100 so we can say that this product was maybe $1,300 but now it's $1,100 so that it can show um, that it has some discount and it was maybe it, it, it's more appealing that way so once you are done with that now we are going to add our images so we are going to scroll up until we find the images part. So you'll find this section. It's called product image and uh, product gallery. So, so this is the main image. And these are the other images that you will be using for that particular product. So I'm going to select the product image. And then I'm going to upload the, the images. Now, as you can see, I had downloaded the images in advance. So I'm going to select all of them. 
and then I'm going to open them. And so among these images, I'm going to choose the main one that maybe it's the black one. And then I'm going to set it as the product image. So that is the main product image. Then we can add the rest as the product gallery. So we can just uh, press on control. Then we copy, we select all other images that we need. Then click on add to gallery. So you can see these images have been added to gallery. Just down here, you are going to see now the categories. So make sure that you have created the categories in advance. But if you have not, you can add a new category here and maybe call it fonts. Then add a new category. So if you don't add any category, your products will be on uncategorized, which is not really very good. Then you can have here some product tags. So product tags uh, will be like something relating to that product, like Samsung. And any other tabs, tags that you might be needing, then you're going to click them, uh, add them in there, and you can see them here. So after now going through your product, make sure now you look at your product again, see whether it has everything that you needed, and then you can click on publish once you are contented with what you see. So I'm going to hit on publish. And now I can uh, click here to preview the changes or just click here to view the product. So I'm going to open this in a new tab so that we can see the product. And now we can see that we have our product here. So we have this product on sale and the product was 1,300, it's now 1,100. And we have our short description here and we have our long description here. We have also our product images here. We have all the gallery here. Now this one is going to look better if you, are, you have a theme that has been installed. So uh, for now I haven't, I don't have any theme installed. So uh, it just is the default WooCommerce functionality. So now we are going to change the price. So we are going to change um, this price to be in US dollars. So go to your dashboard, then hover over WooCommerce. And then you're going to go to your settings. And now you can choose here the country. So you might be, uh, you can choose the country that you are in. So by default, it was in Kenyan shillings because I had chosen Kenya. But you can choose uh, to be in Kenya, but still sell in uh, other currencies. And then you can now come here and change the currency here. So the currency, just uh, click on this arrow here. And then you can now choose on the USD. Then you'll see it there. And then you can save the changes. So if I go to my product here and now refresh. You can see that now that my product is in USD. So if this video has been helpful, please don't forget to hit that like. And subscribe to my channel if you are new to this channel. Thank you and see you on the next video.